Hi, today I'm going to walk you through the basic operations and functions of the Next Controller. The Next Controller comes pre-fitted with a swivel union integrated into the controller itself. This union removes the need for any extra union on the system and allows you to be able to position the controller in any position you require when needed and also allows for easy maintenance and service of the controller in operation or the pump. To remove the union fitting, all you do is remove the cover plate from either the top or bottom, push out the clip pin, and then you're able to, from either the inlet or outlet, whatever one you need, remove the fitting and the controller completely. Once you've done what you need to do, whether servicing the pump or the controller, you can push it back on, reinstall the clip pin, and put the cover plate back in place. The next pump controller comes with a fully digital display and interface. The default cut-in for this controller is 2.2 bar, and it shuts down using the flow sensor within the body itself. Indicators on the display show you when there's power connected to the device, and if there is a run-dry situation, the lack of water light will fly, flicker. An on and off button will allow you to turn the pump off in operation, so you can disable the power to the pump, or to turn it back on, and the reset button will allow you to reset any appropriate faults it requires. On the display, it will show the active pressure of the system when operating, which will be useful for such situations of when there's a leak in the system, you'll be able to watch the pressure drop and determine if the fault's with the controller itself or in the system downstream. Thank you.